I really need a haircut. My appointment got canceled. But I want to do a mini series about reading at my cousin's wedding and doing an altar call, all with anxiety. So it's going to be a little mini series because I don't know how long I'm going to be able to. Ooh, that detangler smells really good. Get through uh, everything I want to say. So buckle up because we got a mini series coming. So it all started September 11th, 2022. After my cousin's bridal shower, when she came up to me and she put her arm around my shoulder and she said, oh, hey, Ida, just think about it, but do you want to read at my wedding? And I was like, yes, I want to be a part of your wedding. But I'm so scared to read at mass. Uh, I don't know, like that pressure and like the whole church staring at me and there's going to be a lot of family there and people that I know, but also a lot of people that I don't know. And then like I'll walk too fast up to the altar and I'll read too fast. But long story short, I ended up reading in this dress and my family said that for me I actually did it pretty good it was a little fast like but for me I did it really good and my favorite part was getting to go to the rehearsal in the church I didn't have to like walk in the wedding party but at the rehearsal all we had to do is just practice bowing and walking to the altar and like when to go up and then the rest of the time was just for the bride and the groom and everybody in the wedding party. And in the meantime, I got to hang out with uh, the bride's nieces and nephews, who were like my cousin's kids, and my aunt and my grandpa. My aunt came in from Texas. I think sometimes practice really does make perfect. I have no special tips for reading. I'm just so happy that I did it. Sometimes it helps just to punch beer in the face to face the fear and my former life coach uh i was telling her about this and she said do it do it scared so that's a little bit about how the wedding went it was really fun i did it mark it off the bucket list what the heck i read at mass with anxiety we got to sit up in the front so we had a pretty great view of the wedding and everything so it was really fun and I did it and it was short-ish. Um, it was just from Genesis so that's like a really basic reading. But now let's talk about the altar call. It was weeks before the wedding and I was in one of the church offices. John came in to the office and he mentioned that an altar call needed to be done before the end of the year. So an altar call is when people get up after communion and they have to give a talk promoting it could be like an event or something that the church is doing or promoting so we mentioned that this altar call needed to be done for the formed app before the end of the year and i made a joke and i'm like lol don't ask me to do it because i'm not going to do it because i'm scared but it was september 29th and i'm sitting in this crazy fancy church called St. John Cantus in Chicago for a special mass and I'm sitting next to one of my best friends and I kept thinking something like lol but what if I did do the altar call for John but I never do it but it'd be cool but I would never do it but what if I did do it but I would never do it step out of your comfort zone though I'm not doing it Ida but do something for John though. He would love it. No, never. Okay, but you're at this fancy as heck church in front of Jesus at mass. Is Jesus telling me to do this? So the next day, I forced myself and dragged myself into John's office when I had a second at work because if I didn't do it ASAP, the excuses were gonna get the best of me. Because the doubt and the excuses were already starting. So I walk into his office and I'm like, Hi. John, I can't. I'm scared. I have to tell you something. I don't want to do it. I'm scared. And he looked worried. And he told me to come in and ask me if we should talk about this elsewhere, if we needed to close the door. And I'm like, no, 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 it's not that. But 
if I told you I wanted to do the altar call, what would I have to do? And as soon as I said that, he got so excited and he told me to pray about it. But I totally had to do it. So the rest of the weekend I discerned and shortly after that, I said, 